Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily, and we're going to give you an example of SCO, which is available if you take PLC under the commodity title choice, and Doug Yoder is going to give that. Alrighty, thank you, Gary. Be more than glad to. Um, SCO is a county-level crop insurance uh, option that crop insurance purchasers can, can, can consider purchasing if they first purchase a farm level coverage such as yield protection or revenue protection. SCO is ca extra county coverage they can add on top of their farm level coverage. This example I'm going to give today combines SCO with revenue protection just as an example. As you can see, uh, SCO kicks in at 86% of the county level. So on this first slide, if you're looking, if, if you purchase 85% RP and SCO kicks in at 86%, you're only looking at 1% extra coverage uh, on top of your farm level coverage. At 80% RP coverage, of course, you'd be getting 6% SCO. 75% you'd be looking at 11% SCO coverage. And of course, 70% coverage level in RP would allow you to purchase 16% of SCO. Now, one word of caution here, um, I, we've, we saw quite a few farmers in Illinois purchase SCO last year in 2019. What I didn't see and what I really hope I don't see is farmers reducing their RP coverages so that they can buy more uh, SCO coverage. SCO is county coverage, which isn't typically very popular in Illinois. Last year, only about 5% of all policies were county-based policies. So uh, if in this tight farm economy, I'd, I would hate to see farmers personally reduce their farm level coverage just so they can get more county-based coverage. So let's dive into a first into an example here. Let's take a look at a farm with a trend-adjusted APH of 190 bushels per acre. We'll use the last year's February price of 2019. The corn average during the month of February was $4. That yield times price is $760 of expected farm revenue on the RP policy, which we will need here in a minute. Let's say they choose 80% coverage in RP. That gives them a guarantee of $608. Then let's build the SEO coverage. Let's say they're in a county that has an expected county yield of 180 bushels. They use the same $4 price. That's $720 of expected county revenue. The trigger in SEO is 86%. That would give you a county trigger of $619 on that, uh, in that county. So putting that graphically, you can see the RP guarantee at the bottom, $608. Leaves you a deductible of $152. If that farm APH of 190 uh, times last year's $4 price, that'd be $760 of expected farm revenue. If they can only insure $608 of that on RP, that leaves them $152 an acre re uh, deductible on that farm. So let's see if you can reduce that deductible now using our uh, SCO. So if we combine 80% RP with SCO, such as this column shows, obviously the R RP guarantees the same. But now in this example, you'd be able to add 6% SEO coverage on top, thus reducing your RP deductible, your total net deductible somewhat. The way they calculate SEO, they calculate that top band of coverage. As we already indicated on the previous slide, $619 would be the trigger. It stops at 80% coverage since that's the RP coverage this farm is buying. That lower band of coverage ends at 576. So if you subtract the top band from the bottom band, that's $43 of total county coverage they're purchasing. Then they also use your trend adjusted APH 190 on your RP policy to calculate your max payment. Your APH times your $4 price last year times your SEO coverage of 6% would be a max SEO payment of $45.60. Now let's look at a possible harvest time uh, Calculation to see, look at a possible claim. Let's assume last year the harvest price dropped to three dollars. Let's say the final county yield turned uh, in at two hundred uh, bushels per acre. That would be a final county revenue of six hundred. They would first calculate the county shortfall. We had a six hundred nineteen dollar county trigger with a six hundred dollar final county revenue. That's a nineteen dollar shortfall. They take that nineteen dollar shortfall into the range of coverage, which was forty three dollars. If you remember in this example. 19 into 43 is a 44 uh, percent of the maximum coverage range then they take your maximum payment 46 dollars times that percent shortfall 44 percent to issue a 20 dollar claim obviously a little more complicated than typical crop insurance claims but that is how the seo claims work uh, that you can uh, use to to see how seo uh, would would pay out on on various scenarios in your farm with that, that's uh, how one example in SEO uh, works. If you have any more questions, I'd encourage you to talk to your individual crop insurance agent and have them quote that for you in your county and, and uh, show you what county level revenues you can protect using SEO.